Hi, welcome to another video on MS VCP 140 DL is missing error. Some users are complaining that the WordPress app refuses to start with the MS VCP 140.dll is missing error. Although the symptom has mostly been reported happening on Windows 10, there are some users who encountered it on Windows 8 and Windows 7. First, we want to put a warning here. Do not follow any of that advice that is urging you to download a replacement for the msvcp140.dll file. Most sites that claim to host the msvcp140.dll file without the rest of the DirectX redistributable package actually contain a modified version. These modified versions often contain malicious code that will leave your system exposed to future virus infections. If you are currently struggling with the MS VCP 140.dll is missing error when you are opening the WordPress app, the methods we are going to show you in this video are most likely to resolve this issue. We have managed to identify a couple of fixes that have been helpful for users finding themselves in a similar situation. Please follow these methods to find out the one which works for you. Our first method is to apply all the pending Windows updates. Some users have reported that the issue has properly disappeared after they finished applying all the pending updates through Windows Update. If you are struggling with this issue, let's open Windows Update and find out if you have a pending update capable of fixing the issue automatically. To check Windows Update, press Windows and R key. This will open up Run command. On Windows 10, type ms hyphen settings colon Windows update. Now hit enter. This will open up Windows update screen. If you're expressing the issue on an older version of Windows version, type wuapp. Let's go through that one more time. Press Windows and R key. This will open up run command. For any version other than Windows 10, type Windows Update WU app and then press enter. This will open up Windows Update screen. So in the Windows Update screen, first if you haven't updated your Windows, you can see this error which says your device is at risk because it's out of date and missing important security and quality updates. You can click on check for updates here. You will need to wait for a couple of minutes. Windows will check for the updates. It will prompt you about all the updates once it finds and detects any update pending on your system. Once it finds updates which are pending for your system, uh, as soon as it detects any updates which are not yet installed on your computer and are available online, it will download all these updates. Uh, it is recommended to install all the updates and keep on clicking the check for updates button once it says your system is up to date. So after installing all the updates and when you see the uh, message that all the updates are installed and your system is up to date, restart your computer one more time and check if the issue is resolved with WordPress application. If you are still encountering the error message, our next solution is to install Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio 2017. Most users that have struggled with this issue have managed to fix it by installing the latest Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio 2017. First of all, you will need to download the package. Let me bring up the download link. This link is also given in the video's description. Let's quickly go to this link. Okay. 
right, so full time. Um, here are the um, packages that are available for download, depending on the system. If you are using 32-bit or 64-bit Windows, choose the specific version and click on the link to download it. So your download should get started. I'm going to save this file. So once the file is downloaded, click on run to launch the installer. Agree to term and conditions. Click on yes when you are prompted for user account control pop up. So once this installation is complete, perform a system restart. Once your system is back online, launch the WordPress application and check if the issue is resolved. If you are still encountering the same issue, use the same steps but try Visual Studio 2013 version or try Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio 2015 version. This should resolve the issue. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.